Today we have a big exhibition as you see these are the martyrs of the massacre of 1988 political prisoners uh, during that time I was also political prisoners and I went to the death committee and now as you know these days a trial for one of the perpetrators of the massacre namely Hamid Nouri is taking place in Sweden, Stockholm and I'm one of the plaintiffs and I've been there during the first period of opening and I saw that lots of uh, Iranian, lots of uh, uh, who lo lost their loved one, lots of the uh, supporter of the Iranian resistance gathered outside the court and uh, chanting a slogan against those perpetrators and they wanted to be taken to the justice, especially the high officials of that massacre like Ibrahim Raisi and uh, poor Muhammadi Ishraqi and uh, Nayeri. And I hope that some days in near future uh, that trial international tribunal uh, take place and those people taken to be uh, accountable. Hi everybody, my name is Reza Fallahi. I am one of the uh, witness of the 1988 summer massacre uh, actually that uh, with the 30,000 prisoners were, were executed there and I am a plaintiff of the Hamid Nouri's uh, trial and uh, today we have a great uh, exhibition here after 33 years and we are trying to be our martyrs inmates to be there to spoke behalf of them and said that it was a systematic murders we try in the court and the trial to expand this trial from Hamid Nuri to the entire system because it was a systematic murders and we don't let that minimize it to one of the second uh, level murderers and we would like especially to the uh, Raisi who is now uh, as the nominated president of uh, Mullah's regime and we try to take him in the court as well and uh, including the leader because the, uh, everybody at that time that uh, had a great responsibility and they should respond to the international society community and to human rights uh, organization uh, interrogation and questions. Well my name is Mark Williams and for 12 years I was a member of parliament uh, in Westminster down the road from here in Whitehall and, and I've come to play my part in a, a really meaningful commemoration of 30,000 brave political prisoners who were massacred in 1988, 33 years ago. And I'm impressed with this commemoration because it illustrates once again the enormity of that tragedy and why the international community uh, must not forget uh, the International Liberty Association have been in the forefront of reminding politicians and the international community what that massacre meant and why it must not be forgotten and why the perpetrators of that massacre must be brought to justice. We will not forget 30,000 political prisoners who were taken from prison, massacred and hidden in secret graves. And we must not at this time forget those who are responsible for that crime, those that were part of the uh, commission uh, in Tehran, none other than uh, the self-anointed president of the Islamic Republic, Mr. Raisi, who was part of that team of people that put those people to death. We will not forget those brave people. And it is imperative that the EU and the United Kingdom it is imperative that they endorse those calls for the United Nations to investigate that crime in an independent way and bring those people to justice. I am Tahir Boumidra. I am the representative of the 
uh, JVMI, which is justice for the 1988 massacre of political prisoners in Iran. Now, it's 30 years since this fatwa was issued. A fatwa that ordered to commit a crime against humanity. And this crime against humanity is to be investigated now. We want the United Nations to interfere now. We want the world to say no to Ibrahim Raisi, who has been promoted from an executioner to become president of the Islamic Republic of Iran. This is shame on the United Nations, shame on the international community to allow impunity this way. Thank you. Yes, hello, my name is Omid Ibrahimi. Um, I'm 23 years old and I'm a student studying medicine. Actually, I'm here personally and my pain is personal because I've lost five of my mom's relatives at the hands of this regime. They are my uncle, so my mom's brother, two of my mom's aunties and two of my mom's uncles. And two of my mom's aunties were executed by the regime as part of the massacre of 30,000 political prisoners in 1988. And also my dad was imprisoned in Iran from 1981 to 1991 and therefore he was in prison at the time of the 1988 massacre. And he was a first-hand witness uh, of why we're here is that we want the UK government to take a lead role uh, in requesting and demanding in actual fact that the UN set up an, uh, an investigative committee to investigate into the depths of the massacre and to bring those who were in charge, the perpetrators, to justice. Hello, I'm Farzana Hosseini. Um, I'm 34 years old, I'm a lawyer. Two of my uncles and an aunt were both uh, paternal uncles and paternal aunt were executed by the regime um, and four other members of my family. One of them uh, who was actually uh, 18 years old at the time of his execution and he was one of the 30,000 who was executed during the summer of 1988. Um, we have a huge number of pictures behind us here today. Um, I was actually surprised to see one, my uncle is among them. Um, this is my uncle, Abbas Hosseini. He was 28 years old when he was murdered by the Iranian regime. Uh, he was actually a clergyman. He was, uh, he was a religious scholar and he, uh, despite being religious, he was um, completely opposed to the uh, fundamentalist Islamic dictatorship ruling Iran. We're here today to condemn yet again the uh, atrocities committed by the terrorist regime, in particular the 1988 massacre of 30,000 uh, political prisoners. And we're here to demand justice yet again. Uh, we want the UN to set up a formal investigation into the 1988 massacre to bring the perpetrators to justice. Uh, every day we're getting closer and closer. Um, and thank you so much also to the ILA um, who have um, time and time again put these events together and allowed us relatives um, of, of the, the slain uh, members of the opposition to come together and to voice our support for the ILA and for all of their aims in bringing uh, freedom and democracy to Iran and um, seeking justice as well for all of these people behind me and tens of thousands of more. Thank you. And I'll tell you that I think exhibitions like this are incredibly moving and very powerful message to people and really demonstrates the shame the British government should have for neglecting what has happened and continuing to, to trade and have business and commercial relationships with the Iranian regime. I think it's a tragedy. Uh, I think it is shameful that the British government behaves like that. And, uh, and still, and is still doing so. Um, still putting trade above, above humanity and trade above human rights. Total tragedy. Yes, I think this exhibition, it's, it's really hard hitting and as a daughter of um, survivors of the Holocaust, it, it really does bring it home. Um, I just hope lots of people do walk along here and take notice and that, that in the end 
has a real effect on, on what our government does soon. Well, I think it's very powerful and hopefully something that will register with the government and Downing Street just across the road. Well, it, it builds on many, many previous attempts to get justice for those 30,000 who were, were massacred in 1988 uh, on a completely false pretext that they were, they were just political prisoners and had no, there was absolutely no justification for their, their uh, murder.